Hey, what's going on guys, Iptesh here, back with another video. Now, I am an absolute camera nerd, especially from the technical side of things, and whenever I see stuff like this, I get very excited. Xiaomi has just unveiled a prototype Xiaomi 15 Pro smartphone with contact pins that allow the smartphone to directly connect with a mirrorless camera module that they are calling an optical modular system featuring a micro four thirds sensor with a 35 millimeter full frame equivalent lens with an f1.4 aperture. Now this concept as a whole is not unique, but there is one critical aspect of it, which to my knowledge hasn't been done yet. And that's what I want to talk about. It's truly what separates this from all other alternatives. Folks, over the years, there has been several attempts made to merge the mirrorless camera and the smartphone. Some tried to put the camera on the phone, others tried to put the phone on the camera. And there's always been compromises. Samsung's Galaxy NX from the early 2010s was one of the more polished experiences which paired a pretty high-end APS-C sensor to a body running on Android with the guts of a Galaxy S4, if I remember correctly. It obviously failed to catch on being too ahead of its time. Tony Northrup actually called it the camera of the decade. Not many years ago also, Xiaomi themselves had an interchangeable micro four thirds mirrorless camera running Android. It was available in India as well at one point. Sony took it one step further and actually released something very similar to what Xiaomi is trying to do. The Sony DSC QX series of lens style cameras. You heard that right. This is an entire camera in itself with a one inch sensor, processor, battery, storage, even has a flash if I remember correctly. It is just missing the viewfinder, screen and grip. So this connects to the phone over Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and streams the image preview for you to frame the shot and capture it. Now this is where Xiaomi's optical modular system differs. Let me explain. The biggest weakness of the smartphone cameras are small sensor size and accompanying compromised lens design due to lack of space. This is why smartphones heavily rely on computational image processing. Meanwhile, the biggest weakness of real professional mirrorless cameras is complete reliance on pure hardware and optics. Not sure if I can call it a weakness, but rather a decision, which I mean you hate it or love it. This is why you cannot take impressive portrait images like this and photos in the complete darkness like this with a real mirrorless camera unless you are carrying a massive lens with a really wide aperture. Like I said, the type of shots you can take with a mirrorless camera purely depends on the sensor size and lens that you're carrying with you at the moment. Smartphones with smaller sensors rely on computational image processing. Meanwhile, real cameras rely on hardware and physics. Xiaomi's optical modular system aims to merge the two. Use advanced image processing provided by modern Android chipsets and apply it on raw data coming from these much larger sensors like the micro four thirds sensor that Xiaomi has incorporated. This has never been done before as far as I know. The Galaxy NX that I showed before could have done it, but it was from an era when smartphone image signal processors were too weak to properly process images from such a large APS-C sensor and also computational photography was really not popular until the arrival of the Google Pixel. Xiaomi says that they have developed a data transfer system that can communicate with the module at 10 gigabits per second. So that's USB 3.2 Gen 2 and it results in minimal, but still my opinion, perceptible delay in the viewfinder. But the fact that now Xiaomi is able to process the sensor data using advanced algorithms and ISP is absolutely huge. In fact, Xiaomi has already claimed that that's exactly how they're able to eke out 16 stops of dynamic range from the sensor. I don't think micro four third sensor in any of these cameras can produce such dynamic range unless you are manually stacking images of different exposures and merging it in Lightroom. Imagine shooting night mode images with this huge sensor. That would be crazy. The only thing that I'm a bit disappointed about is that Xiaomi has fixed the lens on the sensor and hasn't left the micro four third mount open. If the mount was left open like interchangeable lens cameras, then obviously you could mount any micro four third lens to it. Even use adapters to mount lenses from other systems and whatnot. There are a lot of micro four third lenses available for purchase, which could have been used on this module by Xiaomi but next time I guess. Maybe Xiaomi fix the lens to make the module as compact as possible. 
Finally, I would like to see this concept taken forward where brands can decide on an open connection standard that can allow the phone to talk to any sensor and develop modules where each module has a different sensor size like APS-C or full frame with a swappable mount so that you can truly have an augmented mirrorless camera at all times with you with the power of modern image processing. Alright guys, that was all me geeking out. It's great to see such innovation in this tail market. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.